مبادرة ضوء لتسجيل الكتب الصوتية للمكفوفين وضعاف البصر بصوت المتطوعة سهير حاج عمر مادة اللغة الإنجليزية للثالث الثانوي الأدبي كتاب الأنشطة Activity Book الوحدة الثانية بعنوان Natural World الدرس السادس بعنوان Under Threat من صفحة 33 حتى صفحة 37 المجموعة الأولى من الأسئلة تتعلق بقسم القراءة Reading لذلك سنقرأ النص أولا ثم نعود لإجابة عن هذه الأسئلة الواردة قبل النص النص Animals and their habitats Animals live everywhere on earth in every terrain and in all climates The place where an animal lives is called its habitat and most animals can only survive in one or two different habitats For example Whales are sea creatures and cannot live in fresh water. Lizards live in hot climates and would die if they were moved to the Arctic. Some animals migrate between two habitats at different times of the year. In this article, you will find out about two animals which can live in different habitats and one which has adapted to a particular environment. Penguins وهو حيوان البطريق. There are 17 different species of penguins, including the famous emperor penguins and the common chinstrap penguins. All of these live in the southern hemisphere, many in Antarctica around the South Pole, but some live in warmer places, for example on the coasts of South America, Africa, Australia, and the Galapagos Islands. Many of the 13 million chinstrap penguins live on large icebergs in the open ocean. Kangaroos. Kangaroos and their close relatives, wallabies, are only found naturally in Australia and Papua New Guinea. Like wombats and koala bears, kangaroos are marsupials. Marsupials yani jurabiat which means that when young are born, they are carried by their mothers in a pouch. Pouch Tani al-Jarab, الذي يضع الكنغر ولده فيه. There are 45 species of kangaroos and wallabies, and they live in every kind of habitat, from open plains to forests and rocky deserts. Three kangaroos live in remote and mountainous forest regions, and have adapted to life in trees. Unlike other kangaroos, they cannot move very fast on the ground. Jerboas The jerboa lives all over Asia and northern Africa. This animal lives in hot desert climates and is common in the Syrian desert. There are 25 different species of jerboa and they are specially adapted to live in extremely dry climates. They have very short front legs and long back legs, which enable them to hop quickly over the ground to escape predators. They are nocturnal animals, which means they sleep during the day. Nocturnal animals, يعني حيوانات ليلية. نهاية النص. الآن سنعود لقراءة الأسئلة التي وردت قبل النص وهي ثلاثة أسئلة. السؤال الأول. Which of the three types of animals described in the article has the most different species? Al-Jawab, kangaroos, 45 species. Sual al-Thani, what is special about kangaroos and similar animals? Al-Jawab, they are marsupials. They carry their young in a pouch. Sual al think of another animal that is special in some way. What makes it special? هذا السؤال يتوقف على جواب الطالب لكل طالب إجابة خاصة به. المجموعة الثانية من الأسئلة Read the article again and answer these questions. السؤال الأول How are penguins and kangaroos different from many other animals? الجواب They have adapted to life in several different habitats. السؤال الثاني What do all penguins have in common? الجواب all penguins live in the southern hemisphere. سؤال الثالث In what ways have gerbils adapted to their environment? 
الجواب They have very short front legs and long back legs which enable them to hop quickly and escape predators. سؤال الرابع What kind of climate do gerbils live in? الجواب Warm desert climates. سؤال الخامس Define a marsupial. الجواب Marsupials are carried by their mother in a pouch after they are born. انتهى هذا السؤال. الآن مجموعة الأسئلة الثالثة معاني كلمات. Match these words from the article with their meanings. الكلمة الأولى adapt يعني يتكيف change to be better suited to a situation. الكلمة الثانية hemisphere نصف الكرة الأرضية one half of the earth southern or northern. الكلمة الثالثة environment البيئة The place or conditions where animals live. كلمة الرابعة iceberg جبل جليدي large block of ice that floats in the sea. كلمة الخامسة plain سهل سهل المنطقة السهلية large area of flat land usually without trees. كلمة السادسة pouch الجراب bag or pocket of skin. كلمة السابعة Remote, نائي أو بعيد. Far from civilization or populated areas. الكلمة الأخيرة terrain تعني منطقة. Type of landscape. انتهت الأسئلة المتعلقة بقسم القراءة reading والآن الأسئلة المتعلقة بالمفردات vocabulary. السؤال الأول. Answer the questions. From A to E with words from the list. You will need to use some of the words more than once. الكلمات التي نحتاج إليها لتعبئتها في الفراغات هي birds, mammals, reptiles. Birds, الطيور, mammals, الثديات, reptiles, الزواحف. سؤال أول. Which group of animals feed their young with milk? الجواب, mammals. سؤال الثاني. Which two groups of animals lay eggs? الجواب Reptiles and birds. سؤال الثالث Which group of animals have dry skin and cold blood? الجواب Reptiles. سؤال الرابع Which group of animals can fly? الجواب Birds and bats, which are mammals. سؤال الخامس Which two groups of animals have warm blood? الجواب Birds and mammals المجموعة الثانية من الأسئلة What do these groups of animals have in common? Start your answers like this 1. They can all 2. They are all 3. They all have المجموعة الأولى Bat, Eagle, Owl الجواب They can all fly أو they all have wings. مجموعة ثانية snake, parrot, turtle. الجواب they all lay eggs. المجموعة الثالثة mouse, bat, camel. الجواب they are all mammals. المجموعة الرابعة lizard, turtle, snake. الجواب They are all reptiles. المجموعة الأخيرة Vulture, Rabbit, Eagle الجواب They all have warm blood. المجموعة الثالثة من الأسئلة What is your favorite wild animal? Give reasons for your answer. Describe its habitat. هذا السؤال متعلق بالطالب لكل طالب طريقته الخاصة في الكتابة للتحدث عن الحيوان المفضل لديه. انتهت الأسئلة المتعلقة بالمفردات الآن أسئلة متعلقة بالقواعد grammar talking about processes question number one complete these sentences with the present passive form of the verbs in brackets one birds nests between brackets often build at the top of trees where the eggs will be safe الفعل بين قوسين often build لتحويله إلى مبني للمجهول بالزمن الحاضر 
الجواب هو are often built. Two, many nests between brackets make from grass, twigs or feathers. الفعل بين قوسين make يصبح are made. Three, in some countries the nests of rare birds protect by law. الفعل بين قوسين هو protect يصبح الجواب are protected. Four, if the nests of rare birds damage, between brackets, damage, or their eggs, between brackets, steal, the people who do the damage have to pay a large fine. الفعل الأول بين قوسين damage يصبح are damaged, والفعل الثاني بين قوسين steal يصبح are stolen. انتهى هذا السؤال. Question number two. Rewrite these sentences, changing the verbs in italics from the active to the passive or from the passive to the active. الجملة الأولى مثال محلول وهي Throughout history, people have hunted elephants for their tusks. تصبح عند تحويلها إلى المبني المجهول Throughout history, elephants have been hunted for their tusks. Sentence B. Elephants have been prevented from migrating to find food and water. تحويل هذه الجملة يصبح الجواب. People have prevented elephants from migrating to find food and water. تم تحويل الجملة من passive إلى active. Sentence C. People have turned their natural habitats into farmland or building land. لتحويل هذه الجملة من active إلى passive. Their natural habitats have been turned into farmland or building land. Sentence D. Elephants have changed the natural environment. لتحويل هذه الجملة من active إلى passive تصبح The natural environment has been changed by elephants. الجملة الأخيرة Elephants make paths through the areas where they live and other animals have used these. لتحويل هذه الجملة من active إلى passive تصبح Paths are made by elephants through the areas where they live and these have been used by other animals. انتهى هذا السؤال. المجموعة الثالثة من الأسئلة Complete this article about three kangaroos with the correct form of the verbs in brackets. The verbs may be active or passive and may be in the simple, continuous or perfect forms. النص Three kangaroos which, between brackets, find, الجواب are found, only in the rainforests of Australia and West Papua, are in danger of becoming extinct for two main reasons. Firstly, they, between brackets, hunt, الجواب هو, are hunted, أو, have been hunted, أو, are being hunted, for their meat and fur. And secondly, their natural habitat, الفعل الثالث between brackets destroy, الجواب هو, is being destroyed, أو has been destroyed, by human activities such as mining and farming. For several years, the Tree Kangaroo Conservation Program, verb for between brackets work, الجواب هو, has worked, or has been working, hard, to protect a particular species. Matches tree kangaroo, which five, between brackets, live, الجواب, lives, only on the northeast coast of Papua New Guinea. As part of their work, special protected wildlife areas, six, between brackets, create, الجواب, have been created by the organization and the people who live here, seven, between brackets, teach, الجواب هو, have been taught, how to protect tree kangaroos and other rare animals in their region. انتهى النص. وانتهت الأسئلة المتعلقة بالقواعد. الآن الأسئلة المتعلقة بالكتابة. Writing It says, presenting both sides of an argument. المجموعة الأولى من الأسئلة 1. 
Read this essay on the pros and cons of keeping animals in zoos. Is the writer of the essay for or against zoos? What is your own opinion and why? سوف نجيب عند هذه الأسئلة بعد قراءة النص. النص The arguments for and against zoos Zoos exist all over the world because people want to see animals that they cannot see in their own country. They have always been popular, especially with children. However, some people believe that they are unnatural habitats and that keeping animals in zoos is cruel. In this essay, I will discuss some of the arguments for and against zoos. I will start by considering two arguments in favor of zoos. First of all, many people, including environmentalists, believe that zoos help to protect animals which are endangered. In zoos all around the world, rare animals are bred so they increase in number and are saved from extinction. In China, numbers of the endangered giant panda have begun to increase following successful breeding in zoos. Eventually, animals can be set free to live in the wild again. Secondly, zoos are educational. People who visit zoos can observe unusual animals up close and learn about their behavior. I will now move on to the arguments against zoos. The main objection to zoos is that it's unnatural for wild animals to be kept in captivity. They often have to live in small cages where they cannot move about freely. Another argument against zoos is that they may be located in places where the climate is very different from the climate of the animal's country of origin. Personally, I don't have strong feelings about zoos. I believe that they can help to protect and preserve endangered species, but I also think that it's wrong to force animals to live in unnatural conditions simply so that curious human beings can stare at them. نعود إلى الأسئلة التي كانت قبل النص. Is the writer of the essay for or against zoos? الجواب The writer is neither for nor against zoos. حسب قوله Personally, I don't have strong feelings about zoos. المجموعة الثانية من الأسئلة Question 2 Read the essay again and make a note of the phrases the writer uses to structure the essay and to present his or her ideas. First of all, to structure the essay, one, in this essay, I will discuss some of the arguments for and against zoos. Two, I will start by considering two arguments in favor of zoos. Three, first of all. Four, secondly. Five, I will now move on to. Six, the main objection. Seven, another argument against zoos is that now, how to present ideas? 1. Personally, I don't have strong feelings about. 2. I believe that. 3. I also think that. Question 3. The essay is written in quite formal language. Match these formal words and phrases from the essay with their meanings. معاني كلمات A. Consider Consider بمعنى يأخذ بعين الاعتبار جوابها Examine and discuss B. In favor of بمعنى لصالح معناها For or on the side of C. كلمة الثالثة Observe بمعنى يراقب الجواب C or watch الكلمة الرابعة objection اعتراض الجواب argument against الكلمة الخامسة keep in captivity يعني يأسر المعنى prevent from escaping الكلمة اللي بعدها located بمعنى يقع placed or situated آخر كلمة country of origin البلد الأصلي المعنى place where something an animal is from انتهى هذا السؤال السؤال الرابع write your essay in 100 to 120 words including arguments for and against choose one of these titles 1. the arguments for and against protecting wild animals 
two the arguments for and against keeping household pets three the arguments for and against eating meat follow this paragraph plan one introduction outlining the issues two arguments for three arguments against four conclusion including your own ideas use the same or similar expressions to structure your essay and to express your ideas as the writer of the essay on page 36 refer to the list you made in exercise 2 طبعا هذا السؤال يتعلق باجابه الطالب ليس هناك جواب محدد انتهى التسجيل